record. Okay, I'm going to talk on transcending thoughts and thinking, but also practicalities, like what if you've got to do the tax or pay the bills or something. Um, so the way I would say that is to sort of see um, where is the spiritual student on their journey? Uh, what is their level of consciousness? and uh and also what's coming up as well um for someone at um for someone at uh, an earlier stage shall we say of spiritual growth um i would probably say just uh, uh uh i would definitely do the taxes and employ the head um at later stages of spiritual growth as you're doing a lot of spiritual work and transcending the thoughts um, there comes the option of um, of uh, letting everything go, and sort of, uh, and that can sometimes involve, you know, uh, also letting uh, practical concerns go, and that happens at a certain stage. But when is that the right thing to let everything go? Even uh, with Hawkins, uh, he went off into an incredible experience, left his family, and went off into the desert, because if you like, all his thoughts were blown out there was hardly any capacity to think or operate so that's probably the right time to go because it's kind of obvious that you're not going to be able to function um, if there are responsibilities uh, especially with dependents then i would say definitely um, you know if you're functioning consideration for those needs to happen because you might make a, a serious spiritual error if um, you've got like you know little kids and stuff, and you suddenly like leave the place and leave them alone without any food, um, but if it uh, seems, um, but at a certain intermediate phase, um, what I would say is uh, is the recognition, which is um, there are certain belief systems within the ego, like you need to be have a personal thinker. This is the thing between levels of consciousness and a me that has to think thoughts and do the taxes? Is there a me that does the taxes or can it be a nobody or a no me that does the taxes? And uh, also if I surrender the taxes, um, um, uh, so as you, as you see, how you see a problem in the world, like let's say the taxes need to be done, in which in my case they do. How do you see, well, you see a problem dependent on, your, on, on how advanced you are. So to someone who um, is at, say, a vibration of fear, the taxes can be imbued with a lot of paranoia and fear and, and um, seeing a perception, the Course in Miracles called the perception is it's uh, life and death to get it right. Uh, when you get into a high level of consciousness, it can, it can seem neutral. Like, I'm just going to submit the taxes, and if I'm wrong, it'll all get sorted out. It's fine. It's not a big deal. You're neutral. I mean, it's like... The ta and you sort of see the tax man as being quite nice people. I'm sure they're, they're, they're the most lovely saintly, <laughs> saintly people. If I need some help, they'll understand and they'll be quite forgiving. And, and I think tax people are lovely people. So in that kind of energy, usually they are. You end up getting a really nice tax man who's really understanding, goes, don't worry about it. Just correct it in and send it in again. So you're at a different level. Whereas when you're in fear and you're thinking the tax man's the devil, and you ring them up, you know, it can be a totally different scenario. They're, you're not under um, divine protection, if you like, and synchronicities. Definitely people I know, I'm pretty confident this happens in a lot of uh, spiritual groups. You know, when you're in a good place, you get a really nice person and there's miracles all over the place. When you're in a horrible place and you're, and you're full of fear and negative thinking and you try and get something solved, you know, it's like chaos. So definitely the level, so it's not so much fear and overthinking that necessarily gets a problem solved which is the thing that um, many normal people think like the more I think and the more I get fearful about it uh, the more practical I get the better the, the solution will be but it's not necessarily the order of, of miracles so uh, sometimes you know you go to this thing well if I totally let go I mean who's going to do the taxes well sometimes if you go off into and this is again I'm not trying to advocate, um, uh, I don't know, dereliction um, or something or something weird. But sometimes if you go into blissful states, they do happen. It's like somehow you're able to do them with, with no personal thinker or head. They just flow or someone offers to do them or something happens or you just win the lottery and just send you know, half a million to the tax man 
and so just keep that for the time being. So that sounds like pine, but the miraculous does happen um, uh, and tends to happen more the more you let go. So the the idea to see is where it depends on where you are on the journey. But actually, my experience is when you let go of the idea there's a me that needs to do taxes and you go off into these oneness or infinite flow states or the holy instant as the Course in Miracles or enlightened grace type periods, you know, things do actually get whatever needs to happen uh, does get done. Uh, and, and sometimes the things that you thought needed to get done didn't need to get done, or even if you didn't do them, they can get done later on, or they get done through miraculous means. So I'm much more of, uh, but I am definitely for other people, I'm very, you know, I'm not saying like, if you're not ready to do, you I mean, you should definitely do where you are in your, in your spiritual journey. Uh, definitely, I would, uh, you know, if you're in a relatively modest spiritual place, I would Definitely, there's a me that needs to do the taxes and let the me do the taxes or let the ego do the taxes. But sometimes if there's fear, you can just hand it over, you know, or the practicalities, just uh, pray to hand over any personal fears or personal thoughts or projections over it uh, to transcend it, pray for forgiveness, transcendence and miracles. And um, that way, you're, often you can get into flow states when you have to do th practical things in the world. So, um, oh, yes, and, and just the last point, not direct to the question, would be um, transcending the thinking. When the think, I mean, one of the core ideas of the ego is that you need a thinker, a personal thinker, a me thinker that does things and you won't survive. And that is the big thing, you know. Uh, later, when you come to advanced levels, it's like, do I actually need a me that is personally thinking and sorting out the future? Or do I even let that go? And would, if I totally let go and there wasn't a me there, would the universe look after me? And that, those are some of the core beliefs, you know, actually my, no, my ego is the source of survival or is it the level of consciousness or is it the connection to grace, the infinite, which is the level of survival? So, um, and I, I, I would, um, ask people who are listening to this video to uh, remember their spiritual states and uh, when they were in that infinite flow states when it almost like they weren't in the future there was just an infinite presence and the unfolding of life and just recognize that actually the absence of ego was well able to even better take care of you than you being in like huge amounts of thinking trying to sort of survive and control it. Uh, if you if you really if you've had those experiences, you'll know that actually it's the absence of ego, which is the field of the miraculous, and that the field of intense struggle and thinking and going into the future and trying to control everything, is actually where things actually get more difficult. Um, now, anyway, I will stop for the time being. <clears throat>